me is a f foreign film without subtitles. All right, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, and welcome to episode number 28 of Price Check. My name is Octavian. I'm going to be your host. Let's get our dump tab open and get ready to rumble. Now, for those of you who are new to the series and just joining us on this auspicious 28th occasion, then uh, I would just like to tell you exactly how things work here, if you don't mind. Um, we're going to be grabbing a full stash tab worth of loot, running some wisdom scrolls over it, and checking it to see whether or not it has any worth. Um... If it does, then I will explain the reasoning behind, and if it doesn't, then I'll also explain the reasoning behind why I think it does or doesn't have value, and hopefully, from that, some of you fine friends and folks will learn a little bit about price checking yourselves, and who knows, I'll probably learn a thing or two as well along this journey. Most episodes I do. Um, we've got Fizz Damage with Claws, Attack Speed, Mana Gain for each enemy hit by your attacks, and Resists. Mana Gain for each enemy hit by your attacks is potentially usable. Things like Flicker Strike or, say, Spectral Throw that hit really often and have a high mana cost can actually make good use of that. Attack Speed isn't a bad thing either, but Percent Fizz with Claws and some Res... It doesn't really speak to me, especially in a meta where Abyssal Jewels are super strong. So I think we're going to just throw this one to Farici here. Uh, no life, pretty mediocre resistances, no damage rolls on a not-so-desirable base of Amethyst Ring. Got spell damage and crit chance and a res. Those are all good things. Uh, that is T1 spell damage, right? Yeah, I think that's perfect. That is perfect T1 spell damage, which is noteworthy for sure, but uh, I don't think crit chance and a mediocre res is enough to be worth crafting life onto, especially because crafted life on an amulet is pretty garbage. Overall, a piece of crap here. Rift Grasp goes the way of the vendor. Um, we've got crit chance if you've killed recently. That is a local crit, though, which means it increases the crit chance of the staff. And while Judgment Staff is, I believe, a good base for a physical DPS staff, the reason I don't, I'm not super certain on that is because I almost never use physical DPS staffs, because no one does, because staff attack builds just aren't very good. Um, and the rest of the rolls on here are pretty junk. We've got no life, garbage resistances. We've got some percent yes and some flat yes, a good combo for sure. They're kind of low rolls on both of those though, but it does have crit multi, it does have strength, it does have a resist. Maybe this is usable to the right guy out there. We'll put it up for like four or five chaos. Probably won't sell, we'll probably just vendor it in a day or two anyway, but we'll give it a chance. Chance to bleed, ancestral call, some fizz while dual wielding. The interesting effects, but a bad base and not particularly synergistic. Uh, <laughs> garbage? No life, no resists. Also garbage. Um, we've got burning damage, proj damage, ES recharge rate, and attack speed. Not very synergistic. This is a pile of trash. Not very good jewelry so far as this continues that trend. Plus one mana gained on kill. And a bunch of other useless stuff. Percent increased AoE is not necessarily bad and a pretty cool elder effect, but you need a good weapon behind it. 84 life, plus 1 max cold res, 23 lightning res. Hmm. Most people are looking for the plus 2 on the max res rolls, if they're going to be dedicating their shield slot to a max res roll. Um, as well as that, 84 life, some spell damage, and like a mediocre resist is not particularly impressive, so I don't think that this would sell. That's just pretty horrible. We've got area of effects, some fizz damage, nothing else too great though. Uh, pretty good wed roll, some all res, some flash charges gained, but if this had a life roll I'd be willing to corrupt it, maybe go for plus one endurance charge, and then it might be usable over, say, Darkness Enthroned or a good Stygian Vise. Belt Market is in a pretty rough spot right now. 64 life, 6 all res, <clears throat> room I think for a suffix, right? No, no, room for a prefix, maybe in the first few days of the league, maybe. This would have sold. Now it's long past its prime. No life. Goodbye. Same to you. Um, okay, mana resists, but no life. And same to you. All right, well, one good item out of our first batch, but we do get two prismatic rings. Maybe one of these is decent. It's happened before. Didn't happen this time, though. And when I say good item, it's not even really that good. I doubt it'll sell, but we'll go ahead and list it at our lowest listing. All right. Hopefully one of these Shaper Elder Touch pieces of gear ends up being more interesting than some of those earlier ones. Though those are a good example of just how underwhelming they can be, even if they have really interesting effects. You do have to still have, like, a good item that those effects are tacked onto, or else it's simply not going to be worth anything. Look, you can make the tentacles wiggle. 
We don't have any crafting supply. Wisdom scrolls are probably the uh, easiest ones to use, though. Oh, I wish that had one less armor. Thousand and one. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. No explicit life, no resistances. Um, gemstone sword is not a good base, I don't think, so we're not really looking for, like, good PDPS on this thing. We would be looking for it to be an offhand, and I don't think it has the shops for that. 3% um, dodge, but plus 5 life kills that chest piece pretty effectively. Uh, decent resists, but... No damage rolls alongside them, so I don't think Crafted Life is going to save this. Just like a pile of res plus Crafted Life is not going to be purchased anytime soon. Maybe in the first few days of the league. Um, nothing particularly interesting here. We do have the plus two max lightning res. I was looking for the plus two res in the other one, but without life and without good resists, I don't think that's usable. Got some attack and cast speed, crit chance, meh. Uh, another attack speed roll, but I'm surrounded by a bunch of garbage. 10% chance to gain Fortify. <laughs> it's not a Stygian Vise, so it's not going to sell. Cold damage to spells, chaos damage to spells, cold damage to spells. That last cold damage to spells roll is absolutely trash, though. Um, what are the tiers in the other ones? We've got tier 2 and tier 2. No life, no multi, and two tier 2 rolls in a tier 6 one? I don't think that's worth anything. Block chance applied to spells, spell damage. Flat mana gained when you block is interesting, I suppose. Its block chance is 24, which isn't great. Um, does it have a free prefix? It does. You could craft life onto this. 32% spell damage, some block chance applied to spells, crafted life and a resist, and some mana gain when you block plus mana. So like that synergizes, theoretically, though the mana roll is pretty garbage, right? Yeah, tier 10. Maybe it's worth crafting life onto. I don't think I'd craft the 4C life roll, maybe the 10 alt life roll, and see whether or not it sells. Maybe I'm just overvaluing that block chance applied to spells effect, though. It's not that difficult to get your hands on. Maybe if this had, like, max res or a more useful um, shaper affix than mana gain when you block as well, so something like recovery on block or endurance power and frenzy charge gained on block, then I think this would definitely be worth crafting some, some life onto. But I think as it is, it's not quite... Um, but you know, the shield market for Shaper Shields is such a new thing that I think I'm going to risk the, the 10 alts, it's not really even a risk, to craft some life onto this, list it for like 5c, and see whether or not it sells. If it does, you know, then, I, then I've learned a thing or two. If it doesn't, then I spent 10 alts to, well, still learn something, because I won't do it this, the, the next time. No. Just, just garbage. Crit chance, crit chance of fire skills, freeze duration, fizz, no, none of that. 36 life, goodbye, no life. We've got 68 life, 1 max lightning res, endurance frenzy and power charge gen, and block chance applied to spells. This is what I was hoping that other shield would look like. This is actually really nice. If you include the life in Blizzard, that's, uh, what, 70 plus 14? That's 84 life, um, which is respectable, for sure. It's pretty low block chance, sadly, 23%. It's weird to me that this girded tower shield, which is clearly at least twice as large as this little spiky dinner plate over here, somehow has a less block chance. Maybe it's easier to block things with this because it's lightweight and you can move it around faster. I don't know. I don't work for GGG. I didn't make these decisions. But still, almost 50% of block chance applied to spells. That's like a T1 roll for sure. That goes up to 50%. Got good life, including the implicit. We got one max lightning res, and we got charge gen. I think this thing might be worth quite a lot. We're going to go ahead and check it. Um, it doesn't have any res itself, but I think... With the amount of cool Shaper stuff on there, it probably really couldn't have. This might actually be worth, like, annulling? What would we hit? We'd want to get rid of the stun or the percent armor? The stun would be a suffix, the percent armor would be a prefix. What would we craft if we wanted to annul and we hit a prefix? Is there a useful prefix we could craft? Um, well, this isn't going to tell me. Let's open PoE affix and check. So, if I transition over to the browser here, we can look through the prefix mods. We've already got life, so we can't craft this. This isn't craftable, this has to roll. Um, I don't think percent physical damage is craftable. I'm just going to quickly scroll through the list here. No, it is not. Well, I guess we can just look at um, master mods. Curse duration? You can craft curse duration on your shield? I don't really see that being that useful, but neat. Um, we could put in some percent elemental damage with attacks. That actually seems pretty good. The rest of this is pretty much garbage. So it would basically just be this. 
for prefix. Obviously, if we hit a suffix, we craft a res. That's what we'd be after, is trying to craft one of these. Um, hmm. All right. We'll see how much it's worth, and maybe we're going to annul that shield. I don't think so. It's a two out of six, but it could be fun. You want something? And if it's significantly more money for a shield like that with a resistance, then it might be worth it over, like, just trying to sell it without the resistance. Dodge decks, no. Uh, gemstone sword, again, like the previous one, we're looking for this to be a good offhand. It doesn't really have any rolls that speak to me in that regard. Um, we've got life, two good resistances, and almost 2% uh, life regen per second. Maybe it could be decent. I don't know, like some sort of RF build, which is what immediately springs to mind when you see that much life regen per second, is going to want a Calm's Heart, because that's just way better for damage, and they're going to have enough regen elsewhere. You know, you don't give up 400 plus life so that you can get another 2% life regen. That's simply not... 400 plus flat life, which then scales all your percent life. Yeah, I just, I don't see this being worth something still even though it looks like it should be quite good you know compared to other rare chess pieces but it's just that rare chess pieces are at such a low bar compared to unique ones like belly of the beast calm's heart impulses kintsugi so many good ones i just, i just don't see this selling honestly it feels very bad to vendor this because this looks quite good maybe we'll list it we'll list it we'll give it a chance to make me money but i very much doubt that this will sell I will update you guys like an episode or two down the line whether or not this is sold because I really doubt it does. Got a bunch of garbage here. This is... Does that have an open suffix? No, it doesn't. If that had an open suffix, I would craft a uh, resist on that and slam it with a vol to try and get plus one curse. Because, you know, 29% damage for fire spells, 88 life and one res plus one curse. That's very usable. But I don't think so without like a res on it. I don't think it's worth the vol because it's not really going to hit it too often. Um, got some mediocre alley damage to claw attacks, right? Yeah, tier 6, tier 6, tier 3. Not worth it. Okay. Well. Oh, and we got another prismatic in there. 77 life. Nothing else really, though. Let's go ahead and price check this tower shield first. See whether or not I want to throw in a null at that. So let's transition. Move into the browser. Get to PoE trade. And we're going to be looking for a shield with <coughs> pardon me this thing has quite a few shaper mods so we may have to cut some of them out in order to get an accurate search but we definitely want to include our life um which is 68 explicit and like some amount implicit that adds up to around 85 or so um so let's just put in say 60 as our minimum life we're gonna be pretty generous on that block chance applied to spells i think is the most relevant of the shaper mods 45 and then we have we can actually add a filter group here endurance power frenzy frenzy or power charge when you block there it is um that one and max lightning resistance well i guess maximum lightning or maximum cold since shaper can roll both of those are both pretty relevant so we can just count one of these we'll see what this rolls or what this uh, comes up with 15 results we're looking at like 20 C jumping up to an X pretty quickly this has plus two max cold resistance instead of plus one but it doesn't have the charge gen plus one max resistance it's got some reduced reservation though that could be nice I suppose for the right build has been up for six days but this is a very niche item uh, perfect block chance. We've got shock on block, which is sort of com comparable to charge gen, but not quite as good, I'd say. Depends on the situation. Up for 1x again. It's not for 1x, but a lot of these are not for a while. To be fair, these are going to be very, very niche items. I think, since it would take a long time to sell, it's not a guaranteed sell anyways, and I want to do it, <laughs> basically. We're going to annul this shield, but this, statistically speaking, since this shield seems to already have about the value of an exalt or so, I wouldn't say that it's worth throwing the anul at this on a 2 and 6 chance of making the item better, because it seems like it'll really only jump up to being, like, maybe a 3x item. Um, but if we hit, like, the anul and the block chance applied dispels or something, then it's just vendor trash. So, you know, we can theoretically gain an exalt on 2 out of 6, but we lose an exalt, basically, of value 4 out of the 6 times. 
right? I mean, are there mods that if we hit them, they're not that bad to lose? No, I mean, if we hit... If we hit the life, that it's garbage. If we hit the max lightning res, I guess it's still okay and probably worth, like, 35 to 45 chaos. If we hit the lightning res... That's what I just said. If we hit the endurance power frenzy charge, then it's probably trash. I don't know, maybe still worth, like, 30-ish chaos. If we hit the block chance, it's trash. I'd say. I, I'm, I'm valuing the block chance as the highest. That may not be exactly correct. We're going to annul this, though. I already promised it. I'm too far down the rabbit hole now. So we're looking to get rid of that percent armor and um, stun block recovery, or we're looking to get rid of that percent chance to avoid being stunned. Boom. Shit, we hit the block chance. <laughs> uh, well, we'll still throw it up for 10c. Maybe it'll sell. We'll recoup just about the price of that annul that we threw at it, but that can happen. Uh, this one, as I said, we're just going to list for like the lowest cost, and I'll tell you guys whether or not it sells, but I doubt it. And this one we're gonna craft the mid-range craft and life roll onto. Gambling does not always pay off, kids. All right, and uh, we have just a little bit left in that tab. So where is that? Maybe we'll find something good that'll make me feel better about losing the money on that shield. You want <laughs> like the one really cool item that we found, and I just ruined it. Oh, God, I'm horrible. 74 life, some stats. Eh. What even is the Elder Mod on that? Is there an Elder Mod on that? Of the Prodigy of the Fox of the Troll Virile. No. Okay. So it's an Elder Touch item that just dropped without an Elder Mod. I've not seen that happen before. Crit chance if you haven't dealt a crit recently. Crit chance if you've killed recently. That's a lot of crit. <laughs> and staff is going to crit really often. Holy hell. I mean, it's not useful. It's not a very good staff, since that's all local crit, it seems. Yeah, it doesn't say global. And it's not got any physical damage mods. So you can't really justify using it as a PDPS weapon, but, like... That's kind of neat, I guess. You can get... How much is that? 29, 91, so that's 120, right? Yeah, it's 120... 170% crit chance. If you have killed recently and haven't crit recently. <laughs> Jeez. 42 strength, some damage rolls, a res. Early round in League, I might have crafted life on this to try and sell it. At this point, I don't think so. Uh, nothing good. No life, garbage resists, bad life. Got... I guess a leather belt isn't a horrible base to work with, but I don't know. If anybody's going to be crafting an Elder Touch base for belts, they're going to go out of their way to buy a Stygian Vise. So I think that's just vendor food. Uh, 50 strength, a life implicit. If this had other good rolls, I might have crafted life onto it, but it doesn't. Um, got some multi. Nothing else that, you know, shouts offhand to me, though. Bad, bad. Pretty bad and bad. All right. Well, that was a fun episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sadly, our gamble didn't pay off, but, you know, there's going to be more gambles in the future. I'm certain of it. That's just what Path of Exile is. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one as well. Um, these do come out daily, so if you're enjoying the series at all, then please do hit that subscribe button here and maybe go through to my Twitch and hit the follow button there because I do also stream live on Twitch daily for five to eight hours or so every day. So there's a lot of Octavian content to catch. All you gotta do is find it. Thank you for watching, as I said, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>